of any commit. I'm back for another paleo tour. I'm here with Ivalene. Did I say that yep. correctly? I remind my mouth would stumble on it. You did. If you forget, Allie is fine. Allie is fine. <laughs> All right, cool. I, I like to make sure I get everybody's name pronounced correctly because, you know, I've always kind of had that. Uh, just some days I'm uh, offending Comet. So, you know, I, I like to be known as a commit, not a celestial being. Uh -huh. <laughs> Anywho, you are my tour guide. Where are we going? I already have just kind of taken a little pan around your house and I like how you have everything framed in and the the pattern that you have on the fencing is incredible with the lights. I haven't seen that before. Yeah, we're gonna look at the outside of uh, the house and I call this Hollow's End. Hollow's End? Yeah, I, I can- Hollow's End, as you can see with all the pumpkins. Oh yes. We're going to start by touring the outside. All right. Uh, let's go. Let's see. It's t just after midnight in game. Perfect time. Okay. My house is the best to look at at night. So we'll look at the garden first. Excellent. So here is my garden. Ooh. So do you have like a, a layout, uh, like a particular layout or? Is it um, is it optimized for something in particular? No. I awesome. guess because of the uh, the level, my level of gardening is over fifty. So everything is always a star. All my all my veggies, everything is a star. That's and awesome. I uh, I sometimes I will just plant one type of vegetable if I need to. Uh, uh get uh a lot of it like the apples um i do a lot of parties oh that's uh, cool so um yeah and how i make my money is by these things right here sweet when i do cake parties they all go in the warmers awesome and makes a lot more money so i'm i'm always i'm always at cap or very close to cap sweet so it works yeah and um let's see yeah this is i guess i like clutter this is my favorite <laughs> this <laughs> this garden is my favorite right here yeah i was getting a good look at this this is really really very detailed i have everything over here in the corner and just it totally looks like this is this is where you work you got a nice seating area here too yeah sweet enjoy it i really do then just little things like here's the frog thing that we got and i decided this would look good with i flat. i like how you use the uh the flowers there too i've i've heard i've seen some people use a uh, different uh pot that makes it look like there's a tongue leaf that's sticking out but i like i like your uh, use of the flowers got a nice little cute picnic here with plushies Plushy yeah picnic that's very true that's very true Ooh, sorry then, i just my i gravitated over to this porch area here that's really cool yeah it's a lot of fun this was a lot of fun to work out a lot of seating inside of it and it was a lot of fun to do excellent sorry you probably went a different direction so yeah, we're just gonna go around uh, here is a little barbecue over here is a little shrine Ooh the water guards yes and then of course if you're over by the running water forever and you're outside you have to have an outhouse <laughs> of course which is over here i mean for what it is <laughs> it's really nice you know <laughs> my favorite things got and plenty then... of uh, scented candles just in case yeah I'm all candles so We'll go over here. Is... Yeah, I didn't capture that gazebo yet. Oh. Yeah, that's where we're going. <laughs> awesome. I love me a good gazebo. Yeah, I really liked... I I have my community likes to visit. We visit each other all the time. Awesome. 
Who doesn't love a good gazebo? Am I right? I, re I really like how you have this gazebo. It's very zen. It's very good for conversation. Yeah, that's basically what I kind of went for a conversation pit. Yeah. So I really enjoy that. But come back out here. You got it. Turn around and look up. Oh, hey. Nice little, uh, nice little upper area. I like yeah. how you snuck some games up there. You can and, get up by going Oh, up yeah, I was wondering. I was just like, uh, usually people have a nice little way to get up there. Oop. Of course, I got butter feet today. <laughs> well, it is a spiral staircase. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is a spiral staircase. I did that on purpose. <laughs> nice. This is, uh, this would be your high stakes. High stakes have a metal chopper. Right? Yeah. You don't put in you don't put in Zeki coins, you put in like whatever denomination of a hundred Zeki coin would be. I really enjoy it. I'm not very good at it though. It's the game we love to suck at. But my yeah, it's 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 not it's not an easy thing. Yeah, it's not for the faint of heart for for real. No. Not at all. So we'll go inside now. Ooh. All right. So y'all know how this goes, right? We go inside before we go inside. Make sure if you haven't done so, like the video, leave a comment what you think so far, and let's go. I already love As all the candles, the pumpkins. It's so... Yeah. I, I'm really? Just, sorry. Just, yeah. Just, just stick in the whole, the whole area. I really like that I was able to get the wreaths up on the doors as well. Yeah. Did you notice that? I do. I see that. My favorite view right here is just sneaking into the front entrance. Wow. Never ceases to amaze me what people do with just their first little entrance. And this is yeah. one heck of a one heck of, of a setup that you got. Nice gallery walls. You got, wow, hold up. Let's go over here. Seeing the candles on the, yeah. It, when people start decorating with, with altitude, <laughs> it's always impressive to see. Like, you know, as a paleo creator, what, what that takes. Like you, you have to, you have a ladder hidden here somewhere, you know, it's like you, you really get into some engineering when you get up with that, that kind of altitude, so to speak. Yeah, I was able to get the floating candles, um, pretty high up the tree. Yeah. And you know, they're special, uh, non-flammable candles that don't catch your roof on fire. Nope. They're magic. <laughs> That's the witchy magic. Yes. Witchy magic. And this is my, this is my kitchen. Oh, uh, y'all know, y'all know how I feel about some good kitchens. Oh man, you got all your cabinet stock too. That's awesome. Yeah, that was a lot of fun to do. It's a nice pantry, plenty of pies. Thank you. Pie pantry with pumpkins <laughs> with and pumpkin. alliteration, of course. <laughs> yes. Sorry, I'm goofy as hell, so don't mind me. Just just being just being commit. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> yeah, so we can we extend into here. And this so, is a work kitchen actually. I, I love that. Okay, so it, it's it's a it's a it's a really minor thing, but I like pointing out these little things, right? I've been in some houses that have all the chairs kind of, you know, in different directions, but this is probably the most realistic chair setting that I've ever seen. You got all, you got three chairs that are put together nicely and you got one that's like, Hey, I was just here. You know, I just got up, let somebody in. It's a, it's a, it's a very subtle thing. Yeah. I, I like this. This is uh this totally feels like you said a, a working kitchen. 
It is. These are these are uh, prep tables and mixing tables. I just wanted them colored. So. Yeah. And the ovens are real, and uh, they uh, they work. Everything works, and the stoves work. But I wanted them colored, so it's important that you know um, I had friends that helped me do it. So. Valerie, you know? yeah, I yeah. I'm already envious of the amount of focus that it is taking right now to keep all of these candles afloat, because my brain would just you know, just nope. I I could probably keep one up at a time, and that's about it. That's about my my mental capacity. And then the over force here, is strong with this one, of course. This is the dining room. Awesome. It has a little reading nook over here. I like these nooks that you can do different things with. I Yeah, I really appreciate how people have incorporated the hallway as a nook. Uh -huh. It's a really nice, really nice little thing. And, and everybody has done different interpretations of them. Some people have put beds in them. Some people have put seating areas, bathrooms. I like this dining area. It, it feels very, feels very formal. Like you got your curio cabinets over here with your china <laughs> hidden away. Would it be China though in Palea? It would be something else. It would be like, yeah, it would be something else. Yeah, like oh, your, your fine, you need... your fine Palean plates. Yep. Yeah, I like. I just like the way it looks. I like the fireplaces. Yeah. As well. Yeah. And then if we slip through here, this is my den. Awesome. Game room, craft room. Yeah. Take all these angles in. This is really cool. I always, uh, I always appreciate when people also do those kinds of designs where you have the separation between your main living space and this den, uh, but you have like just like a little tiny nav place to navigate through. It's always really cool, fun, fun to do. And this, this is, wow, this is incredible. You got everything all in here, nice space for it. But this column that you have in the center that you have everything stuck up on, it's really, really creative. I haven't seen anybody do like a, a bug centerpiece <laughs> like this. Yeah, I like playing with them. Um... Uh, the, they're like building blocks. They look like building blocks to me. They do. I kind of like, like to... bug Legos. Yeah, when I take you to the maze, you'll see. You'll see another one. <laughs> All right. And then this goes into my bathroom. Ooh. I like the colors here. But yeah, my f favorite colors are are purples and blues and teal greens oh yeah yeah those are those are my wife's favorite colors too and i like having a, a yet another nook but i like having a little privacy there yeah because we don't have internal doors and that's totally yeah. what everybody wants this is the bedroom ah this is cute I like little things like this. You have the nice little vanity here. I'm seeing a lot of a lot of people's interpretations of vanities, and I like how you chose these small pictures. That's perfect for a gallery wall like that. And you got nice seating here. You just kind of kick your feet up in front of the fire. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. I like that that purple accent wall too. Plenty of stuff to plenty of stuff to like about this room. Really good use of uh, really good use of colors. I uh, yeah, I enjoy it. I I enjoyed making this room up it's bright, comfortable. Yeah, awesome. So there's a maze hidden somewhere on this plot. 
No. <laughs> uh oh. Welcome to Spring Blossom Maze. Holy smokes. Kind of wish that the time element was a little slower. You'd enjoy it more, I think, in the dark. But this is a maze that goes to many different places. All right. Sweet. Yeah. I like the little... I like how they added the snow drifts. The snow drifts are just a really nice touch. Well, I had to use the snow drifts through, the, through this part of the maze because of one of the... Um, uh, the Mujin Bahari grill. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a large party and I had to give clues as to how to get there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like the little kind of how you have little hints of things to guide you in certain directions, even though it is a maze. Oh, hey. Look at this thing. I'm going to get an angle from it back here. Wow. That is, that's incredible. What do we have here? This is like a, a bug emporium. My greenhouse. Your greenhouse. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of because the, um, the glass. Yeah. Box that bugs are in. That's how I designed it. That's really cool. I like how uh, it's kind of picking up all the little details now on the floor, how you mixed in the the different rugs and everything. That's really cool. Details. Yeah, details for sure. They're fun. Yeah, details are fun. Absolutely. Let's go back this way. Okay. And I'll take you to the smaller place, which is where we make our focus food. Awesome. So you can get lost in the maze and still have room for focus. And of course, if you go the wrong way, like here, Oh, you got a whole you got a whole spiral thing going on. Uh oh. Yep. Then you're yeah. greeted by the derpy deer that will grant you three wishes or ask you riddles. There you go. And if you complete the riddles, then you get to the focus food place. Awesome. Ooh. This is cool. So this is where we do crab pot pie and then do our focus foods. I love this layout. This is a really good layout. I love pointing out that for cooking parties and stuff like that, you know, they're they're designed for brutal efficiency, but when you have it laid out like this, you get to see everybody. Which yes. is really nice. And every single station is decorated. So everybody has something cool to look at. That's really cool. And of yeah. course, the mandatory wardrobe. Got to yeah. make sure you have your proper attire. Friends like to always change. We all do. Yeah, right? Go back into the maze. Like if you had a... Got a new outfit that was released. Got to make sure you change into it. And this is the Mojin Bahari Grill. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Sweet. I love kind of how you open it up from here. You have the snow drifts. Wow. So you made this whole restaurant. Right. Well, it's not a restaurant, really. It, the Mujin Bahari Grill is where we 
have Mujin Bahari parties. And we'll make between 30 and 50 of them. Oh, wow. That's why we have all of these tables. Oh, wow. Yeah. This way, I don't have to fuss with making other tables. I can, I have it just for the Mujin Bihari dish. And it's exactly enough. And it was in the middle of the Winter Lights Festival. So, of course. <laughs> yeah, this is very well decorated. I like how you incorporate incorporate lots of you know different different designs in this i really love floating candles so and floating anything actually so if you look up you'll see that the candles are all floating yeah that it's that's incredible in the air I was taking a look at the the wood accents that you have along the top and you have ornaments hanging from them, like garland. It's really cool. And I inset the oven into the fireplace. Oh, I didn't I didn't notice that. <laughs> a lot of other people probably noticed that way ahead of me, but that's just that's so appropriate, you know? doing stuff like that, trying to figure out how to do certain things. Sweet. <laughs> and then if we go this way. Ooh, that's a nice. Nice gar uh nice fountain area. Thank you. Of course. Whoa. You managed to get the pumpkins floating too. Yeah. Whoa. This is a takeout store. Am I gonna get taken out? That's what I wanna know. <laughs> this is wild. Look at all that. Wow. This is where I, as I said, I do a lot of parties. So make a lot of different types of food. And this is where I keep it. That's really cool. Never seen anybody do this before. Fun. Yeah, that is, uh, this is a lot of fun. I'm if trying to know, come up with like some kind of a play on words for Grubhub or DoorDash. But I you know, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you notice there's celebration cakes and in the air and floating pumpkins. Yeah, you got it. You got everything in here. That's, that's awesome. Wow. Yeah, I think the only thing I don't have in here is the fish stew, and that's because that's the one thing I use. So, yeah, it doesn't make sense to have anything else other than... Yeah, that is... And, of course, you got another outhouse just in case. Yep, I like my outhouses. Very creative, though. I mean, you got you got everything that you need right there. And then, of course, this is the bakery. This is where I have the cake parties. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. This is top tier. You got everything in here. Yeah, the rolls are all color coordinated so like here the blue and purple and if you notice oh my gosh there's the sweet the um these little pots with the leaves in them represent sweet leaves so oh my four. gosh that is brilliant and then over here we have eggs and flour and butter so that's for 
the batters. And mm, here wow. is where the jelly comes from. So there's the spreaders. This is the froster. This is the fruit frosting. That's why it has fruit bowls. Oh my gosh. And this is the starter. I can't tell you how many times that I've gone to a cake party and I'm just like, where do I go? Even if I know what my role is, like, where do I go? But the fact yeah, that you have them color coded, you have them, you have everything labeled. Like there's people that have legitimately wanted to know how they can, how they can tell somebody immediately where to go. And that's brilliant. That is legitimately brilliant. Color coding, you have roles that, that, that is, wow. Makes it easier for everybody. I think. You know what? It takes the cake. <laughs> yes, I guess so. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I, I had to. Couldn't hold back. Of course. After we've done our cakes, we can relax in the pool. Oh. Now that, this caught my eye a little earlier, but to see this in person, this is really cool. Because the table that you use makes it look like an infinity pool, you know? That's really awesome. My only issue with this is that there's a split here. I know. Singularity 6 is why we can't have nice things. That's right. And I was able to cover this split by putting the flowers here, but... It's just, it's just a big old puzzle, you know? I like this but, hangout little sesh or hangout spot here with the telescope, the fires. It's always really neat how people incorporate food into their builds. Like there's always snacks, accessible snacks. It's a perfect world in Palea. All the snacks are always the perfect temperature. They never go bad. I know, right? Even the fish. Even the fish. They're smiling at you. Yeah. The funny thing is that um, on the outside of the takeout place, my, uh, one of my close friends that plays with me, he had said, <laughs> I had oysters here. Oh, <laughs> and, my. And he's like, you can't have oysters outside. Says who? Those have to go in the refrigerator. Tell me, tell me where it says in the rule book that you can't have oysters outside in my perfect little slice of paleo. You tell me. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. And so this is this is my little world. And there are other things I'm working on. I have a an aquarium and yet another bug place that I'm working on. And the aquarium is built in the round. Ooh. I didn't notice these uh the lamps. I use the lamps. That's really awesome. I turn them upside down. Yeah, it's a good use of lighting. Very yeah, very lighting fancy. Is, yeah. Lighting is important to me. I do a lot of hidden lighting in I uh, have noticed that. Notice little in the build. Little lighting tricks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is like the gazebo. I noticed that. You can put stuff on the outside. Yeah. Nice little tricks. <laughs> I'm curious to know about your name, first off. Ivalne? Yes. Tell me about it. What is there history? Is there... Oh, yeah. Here's the history. My name is actually from a previous game that I used to play, mm -hmm. which is World of Warcraft. Cool. And she was my dragon. Sweet. Uh, from the very last, the uh, last X-Pack that I, that's when I stopped playing. And I stopped playing that game the day I got accepted into the beta mm -hmm. for Pelia and never looked back. And when I created the name, I used the last, the name of the last tune, which was Ivalne. 
and um, all of the tunes that I've had, all of the in all of the games that I play, um, I keep the same name. So Ivalne, um, Alithiere, Alindriel, Alistine, <laughs> they all have A-L-Y in them. Oh, I see that. Okay, cool. And they're all they're all names that come from my head in my imagination. That's awesome. I I've encountered quite a few people that have stories behind their character, either uh, creating them fresh within Paleo's world or uh, continuing the story in an alternate universe from a game just like you said world yeah. of warcraft and they're all they're always magical always magical they're always magical so ivalne is is a witch who is also a dragon sweet is it kind of a it soon type deal where they can convert like shapeshift at will yes awesome and they can fly which is the most fun that was oh, the best out of uh, out of the last game that i played was yeah the 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 ability to fly it would be interesting to see how Pelia evolves to see if they incorporate uh better or different ways of moving across the landscape including mm -hmm. you know mounts or something like that yeah. especially if they incorporate um because Bahari itself is pretty big, and while we can use stables, it would be interesting, you know, if they open up even bigger areas or something like that in the future. They will. I think. I think when you get into um, uh, some of the storylines, I think there is some darkness in some of the other areas that we can explore. Mm -hmm. and I think it will make it. Uh, for uh, some exciting lore mm -hmm. to discover. Yes. That's my thought anyway. Yeah, there's been a lot of people that have been very interested in the, the lore behind Palea. Mm -hmm. So one of the questions that I like to ask when people like yourself are magical is magic is very taboo in Palea as it is. Um, where does your character fit in to that that lore when it comes to when it comes well, to like magic my character is not paleo interesting so magic is okay for me right yeah I, I can I can understand that as a as a human coming back after tens of thousands of years yes are but, you undercover but not really human not really human not right. really because i'm half dragon yes yeah awesome well I'm Alex after. yes i'm just a grandmother <laughs> <laughs> You know what? You can you can be anything that you want in right. in your imagination and totally have fun with it. Yeah, no, it's it's fun to kind of ask these questions because the reason why I ask the reason why I ask them is I like to illustrate to everybody that's watching out there that even though we have a lot of the same things, a lot of the same like you know, eventually, if you work at Paley long enough, you'll have a gazebo and you'll have some of the items that you've seen. How you use them is what makes these tours interesting. And I like to ask these questions. The reason why I like to ask these Q&A things is mm -hmm. because it shows everyone that the person that is on the other side of my screen is creative and they are creating a world that only they you know like they have com complete control over it 
and they have so much fun with it and they add depth to it and as kind of a way to encourage people to to write their own stories you know uh, I totally, totally agree with that yeah. I think that it's very important and it it keeps I think the iman your imagination keeps the game moving forward yes absolutely but it becomes stagnated because to be honest we're all we're beta testers for this mm -hmm. game and there's a lot of bugs in the game oh yeah if you dwell on the negative side of the bugs instead of looking on the positive side and um i think it it helps you to stay fresh yes. in the game yeah absolutely absolutely and uh, i've found that the the tours that i'm i've been doing so far is a way of capturing a snapshot into people's imagination it's been a lot of fun for me to kind of see so many different things and in, in everybody's different interpretation of uh -huh. you know definitely. the items that they have yeah it's been it's been a lot of fun for me as well definitely definitely i i uh, totally agree with you so with, with i think that's why i enjoy this game so much because it, it allows you to have a lot of freedom yes absolutely absolutely all right so as a half human half dragon i don't need to ask you you know what side of the coin you're on when it comes to worshiping dragons or worshiping phoenixes although you could surprise me by saying you worship phoenixes you know i mean it's all right but what yeah. i will ask on the other hand is one of my favorite questions to ask you have mm -hmm. designed a lot of stuff in this plot and the other plot. What do you feel is the missing piece? What is a piece of furniture or a, a rug or shrubbery or wallpaper that you feel like you would like to see more of? Well, uh, for uh, objects, I would say I would like to see shrubbery, I would like to see um, bushes, flowers mm -hmm. that can be used in decoration um, that we don't have uh, right now. And I think that will happen down the line. But um, that's that's something I would love to see. Uh, I would love to see cherry trees. That would be wonderful. Oh yes, like cherry blossoms. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. That's yeah. what I would like to see. I think that'll that'll happen. That'll that'll uh, that'll happen. More um, color palettes. Oh I yes. Think would definitely. I, it makes me wonder if we will have true seasons in the game so we already kind of have like a little bit of a, a winter and the and we had you know snow drifts and stuff but it mm -hmm. would be neat like you said if we had cherry trees that mm -hmm. we had like a, a brief period in the spring where you know a couple of trees just turned bright pink and just... i think that would i think that would be would be good i would like to see more varieties of bugs mm -hmm. um, more varieties of butterflies uh, we have eight the ability right now to do 81 fish but only 39 bug mm. yeah so i would like to see more of that even though I haven't caught all of them, that's fine. <laughs> I've only been playing this game since I got invited to the closed beta the day before it turned into the open beta. <laughs> hey, but you know what? That counts. That totally counts. <laughs> totally counts. So I haven't really been playing all that long. Um, no, it surprises me how new Paleo still is. 
it is very new and it's still in beta yeah. which you know there's a lot of things that are going to change and things are happening and they're going to be putting more i would think more assets into the game mm -hmm. um and i am sure eventually they will have all the bugs ironed out you know um the big ones anyways the big ones especially which i think they're going to work on and they'll do it um i find it interesting that in the f their fall right before the pumpkins came out mm -hmm. i don't know if you noticed but there was blustery wind that would happen and you would see it in town you would see like leaves moving and, and things like that like a bluster mm. Um, you actually can see it if you look at the trees behind the uh, bonsai uh, right now. You could see how they're moving back and forth. So they you weren't. found you found they some are. yeah you found some weather that was like a little bit more windy. Yeah, I think that's I think it's good. You know, and I'm I'm hoping that we have maybe rain. Yeah, that would be that would be cool to see, just different different weather weather patterns, different but seasons. Right, they have a lot of things on their agenda that they have to do. They can't they can't do that. Not yet. Yeah, that's right. that's kind of a polish and. Yeah. yeah, but I'm hoping that in February, they do something to celebrate the year of the dragon. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is your jam, isn't it? <laughs> I love jam. Yeah, I do. I really do. <laughs> I don't know whether it's because I have six grandsons or whatever. <laughs> 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 I, I, I like dragons. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Well, Valeny, thank you so much for inviting me over for a tour. I'm glad that we were able to kind of get synced up and uh, I liked everything that I saw and, and I don't want to minimize that by just kind of, you know, blanket approach. It's like I liked everything. And I really was very creative how you had your farm layout, how you had the interior of your your house. Uh, you participated in the holiday decorating contest. And oh, yeah, they did. I had you featured in, in one of in one of my videos. So to see that in person was really cool. Know, I, I, thought, my, I saw that. Um, I think I saw that this it was this morning. Yep. Or yesterday. Yes. It was whenever it came out. I watched it and um I kind of was a little shocked to see to see Ivalne there. <laughs> wow. Wait, that's me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm, I wanted to give I wanted to give credit for everyone who participated because in all reality, and I and I say this in, in full sincereness, everyone brought their A game. And oh, yeah. you know, uh we'll I'll think about how to do this better next year, but, and I'm sure I'll have some more contests and stuff in the future for different, different things. But yeah, it, it was, it was incredibly impressive. So if y'all are still here, make sure you give the video a like comment. Let me know what your favorite part was. Uh, what are some things that you're looking for in Palea and as always until next time, I'll see y'all for the next Palea tour. Bye-bye.